What's got you bogged down, buddy? I just seem to cough as I get off the line. Sounds like you don't have your accelerator pump properly tuned. Here, watch this video. The accelerator pump system consists of three main components, the pump diaphragm, the pump cam, and the pump nozzle. This is the carburetor system that is most responsible for having good, crisp, off-idle throttle response. Its purpose is to inject a certain amount of fuel down the throttle bores when the throttle is opened. By accomplishing this purpose, it acts to smooth the transition between the idle and main circuits so that no stumble, hesitation, or sluggishness will be evident during the transition phase. Differences in vehicle weight, transmissions, and rear axle ratios affect the amount of fuel and the delivery rate that should be provided by the accelerator pump. This may necessitate the customizing of your accelerator pump to your vehicle and its use. The old saying, if a little is good, a lot is better, does not apply to the proper tuning of the accelerator pump. Your car's performance can be just as bad if it receives too much fuel too soon as if it receives too little fuel too late. The first thing to check is the clearance between the accelerator pump diaphragm arm and the operating lever's screw and spring assembly. Start by making sure the accelerator pump arm is just touching the bottom of the operating lever screw. If there's slack, hold the screw at the bottom and adjust the nut up top until there's no slack but also so that the pump arm isn't being pushed up. Now hold the throttle lever to the wide open throttle position. You'll need a feeler gauge with a 15 thousandths blade. Slip the blade between the pump arm and the adjustment screw bottom. Before you do this check, make sure the fast idle cam lever is disengaged so that the throttle arm is fully seated. If there's proper clearance, you'll see the pump arm move down a bit when the blade is inserted. When you pull the blade out, you'll see it move back up a bit when it snaps back up to the screw bottom. It'll be a slightly snug fit and you'll feel a little drag when you move the blade back and forth. The purpose for this clearance is to assure that the pump diaphragm is never stretched to its maximum limit at wide open throttle, which could cause premature pump failure. The amount of fuel that can be delivered by one accelerator pump stroke is determined by the pump's capacity and the profile of the pump cam. The period of time that it will take for this predetermined amount of fuel to be delivered is affected by the size of the pump nozzle or squirter. A larger pump nozzle will allow the fuel to be delivered much sooner than a smaller pump nozzle. If you need more pump shots sooner, then a larger pump nozzle size is required. During acceleration tests, if you notice that the car first hesitates and then picks up, it's a sure bet that the pump nozzle size should be increased. A backfire or lean condition on acceleration also calls for a step up in pump nozzle size. Conversely, if off-idle acceleration does not feel crisp or clean, then the pump nozzle size may already be too large. In this case, a smaller size is required. The smaller diameter nozzles lengthen the pump shot duration and are used with heavier vehicles or with vehicles equipped with lower numerical rear axle ratios. Larger diameter nozzles, say numbers 35 through 40, will shorten the pump shot duration but deliver a greater initial volume of fuel. These sizes should be used on applications where engine speed will increase rapidly such as vehicles with good power to weight ratios best acceleration is achieved when the accelerator pump delivers a lean best power fuel to air ratio to the engine, not when the maximum volume of fuel is applied. When tuning a double pumper, an important point should be kept in mind. The secondary accelerator pump must supply fuel for a sufficient time so that the secondary main nozzles can start up and deliver fuel to the engine after the secondary throttle plates are opened. If the main nozzles in the Venturi don't start, by the time the pump shot finishes, bogging will result. Holly accelerator pump nozzles are stamped with a number which indicates the drilled pump hole size. For example, a pump nozzle stamped with a 35 is drilled 35 thousandths of an inch in diameter. Pump nozzle sizes are available from numbers 25 to 52. You should note that whenever a number 40 or larger accelerator pump nozzle is installed, the hollow pump nozzle screw should also be used. This screw will allow more fuel to flow to the pump nozzle which will make sure that the pump nozzle itself will be the only limiting restriction and not the threads of the mounting screw for the squirter. 
Also be aware that underneath each squirter, there's a check valve needle. During assembly, if you turn the carburetor upside down while the squirter is removed, this needle might fall out. When changing the pump nozzle, it's best to jump three sizes at a time. For example, if there's currently an offline hesitation with a number 28 pump nozzle, try a number 31 pump nozzle. Also, if you end up needing to use a 37 or larger pump nozzle, then you should also use a 50cc pump diaphragm assembly. When maximum pump capacity is desired, a 50cc accelerator pump conversion kit is available under Holly Park number 20-11. Once a pump nozzle size selection has been made, the accelerator pump system can be further tailored with the pump cam. Holly offers an assortment of different pump cams, each with uniquely different lift and duration profiles that are available under Holly part number 20-12. Switching cams will directly affect the movement of the accelerator pump lever and subsequently the amount of fuel available at the pump nozzle. Installing a pump cam is pretty straightforward. It's as easy as loosening one screw, placing the new pump cam next to the throttle lever, and tightening it up. On each cam, there's two and sometimes three holes that are numbered with a one or a two, and sometimes a three. Placing the screw in a number one position activates the accelerator pump a little early, allowing full use of the pump's capacity. Generally, vehicles which normally run at lower idle speeds, say 600 or 700 RPM, find this position more useful because they can have a good pump shot available coming right off of this relatively low idle. Positions number two and number three delay the pump action, relatively speaking. These two cam positions are good for engines that idle around 1,000 RPM and above. Repositioning the cam in this way makes allowance for the extra throttle movement required to maintain the relatively higher idle setting. Pump arm adjustment and clearance should be checked and verified each and every time the pump cam and or pump cam position is changed.